Well, we are talking about perfume this mm -hmm. afternoon, and in particular, make your own perfume. It is all part of a new trend, and um, instead of having your senses assaulted at the perfume yeah. counter I hate when they get you. and overwhelmed yeah. in search of that perfect scent, you now can create one just for you. Or for mom. Yes. Mother's Day, after all, is this Sunday. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassbrook here with the details. And I just want to say, it smells wonderful up here. It does. Oh, yeah, we've it been really spraying does. some perfume. Yeah. And you don't need to be a celebrity to have your own perfume scent, so to speak, right? Yeah. Uh, this is a great way to express yourself in a way that no one else can. When you get a custom made fragrance, there's very little chance that anyone will ever smell exactly like you. There are so many fragrances that are being launched that it's it's overwhelming for the consumer. And, and so Sue Phillips helped launch fragrances for Tiffany and Burberry, but at her Sensorium in Tribeca, she offers a bespoke perfume experience that begins with an olfactory quiz. Do they like spicy sort of oriental notes or the outdoor fresh woodsy notes? Turns out I lean toward florals, but to be sure... This is a green note. Isn't I smell dye? 18 separate Something notes. Like, or I like that. And Sue mixes and matches and bottles it. It is a fresh floral oriental. And I name it Beau. I think people just want to feel that they are special and that their uniqueness is being expressed by fragrance.